Hi guys, my name is Marty from letsbuildwp.com and today I'm going to show you how to add different admin users to your WordPress website or blog and I'll also cover the different types of users you can add and what that allows them to do. Okay, so to add a new admin user to your WordPress website or blog, you just need to open up your site and log in. Then on the left hand side from the dashboard, just click where it says users. And up at the top, click add new. Then you're required to give a username, email address and password. So you can just type in, we'll say new user for email. I'll just type my own. First name and last name and website will leave blank and then I'll just type in a quick password. Then underneath you can choose whether you'd like the new password to be sent to the new user. So if I check this box, when we add the new user, the username and password will be sent to the email address that you just associated with that account. Then here beside where it says role, there's this drop down list and you can choose which role you want to give the new user. So there's subscriber, contributor, author, editor and administrator. If we just head over to the WordPress site, we can see here the definitions they give each of the roles. So an administrator is someone who has access to all the administration features within a single site. An editor is somebody who can publish and manage posts, including the posts of other users. An author is somebody who can publish and manage their own posts. A contributor is somebody who can write and manage their own posts, but cannot publish them. And a subscriber is somebody who can only manage their own profile. So once you know which role you're going to give the new user, so for this one, I'll choose administrator. You can just click add new user and that's it done. They are now a new user on the website. If you check the box, their username and password will have been sent to them by email and they can now log in and depending on what role you've given them, depends on what they can do. I hope you find this video useful and if you have, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more WordPress tutorial videos like this one. Once again, my name is Marty from letsbuildwp.com and thank you very much for watching my video.